Welcome to PDMA Corporation, home of the MC Emacs. Today we're going to continue in our in our modules series with the focus on power circuit. That's one of our six fault zones in the MC Emacs. But before we get going, let's talk about PDMA Corporation again. Who are we as a company? Active in electric predictive maintenance since 1983. We manufacture the Emacs for dynamic testing, the MCE for static testing, and the only company that puts both dynamic and static testing capabilities in one highly accurate field portable piece of technology called the MCE Max. As we mentioned, this is a series of modules looking at the six fault zones. And today's fault zone is going to be on the power circuit. But as we go through as a brief overview, we have power quality, power circuit as mentioned earlier, insulation, rotor, air gap, and stator. And today's in-depth focus will look at the power circuit fault zone. Now what are some of the problems in the power circuit? Well, high resistance connections being one of them. At the local disconnect, at the starter, or at the motor connection box. If you have a high resistance connection on one of those phases, you're going to possibly have a, uh, an inefficient running motor. Defective power factor correction capacitors, defective contact surfaces, if you have some oxidation, loose connections, those can all detract from the power circuit and give us high resistive imbalances. Or defective cabling, different size conductors. All of these problems can result in potential uh, financial losses. Here's a study, research on industrial power distribution system shows Connectors and conductors are the source of 46% of faults reducing motor efficiency. Now this is very important. If we're reducing the motor efficiency of the motor, then that means we're possibly costing us more to operate that motor at that lower efficiency. So in today's day and age with higher energy costs, it's important that we make sure that our motors are running at the optimum efficiency, what they're designed to operate, what they're designed to run at. So let's take a look visually of what we're looking at here uh, with uh, some potential uh, power circuit issues. Well, here we see inside a motor connection box, uh, we essentially had some conductors here just pull out of the crimping. They look like they were crimped, but maybe at, not at the spec that they were designed to be crimped at. Here we also see somebody cut some, uh, some of the insulation, possibly cutting some of the strands, giving us some of the uh, resistive imbalance in here. If we cut along here, we're reducing the ability to carry current through those conductors or those strands. Well, we look at this here, we can see some excess heat, some exposed copper, some corrosion maybe up over on this uh, exposed material. Uh, all of these things uh, reduce the efficiency of that motor. Once again, heat, maybe there's not a good connection in there, creates excess heat. Excess heat again. And through a thermographic image, we can see the difference here. Obviously, this is running much higher than the other two phases. Now, how can the MCE really help us here? What, what do we show you? Well, this is a three minute standard test can be done to accept a, a motor upon acceptance or acceptance testing, quality assurance testing. And within three minutes, what have we done? Well, we're testing the resistance to ground. We're testing the capacitance to ground. We're looking at phase to phase resistance, accurate to plus or minus 1% at the micro ohm level. We're looking at phase to phase inductance. And in the bottom here, we can see we calculate percent resistive imbalance and percent inductive imbalance and if it goes above a threshold we highlight that in red or yellow. Now in this case here we can see this was a baseline test and so every test subsequent to that gets placed in chronological order and we always go back to that baseline. So any minor changes will be annotated in the software so that you're alerted to, to, some for, to do some further troubleshooting to determine what the cause may be. Now, here we're gonna look at a, a, a situation where we trend phase to phase over time. As you can see here, remember we said here's a baseline, 
0.18% was our resistive imbalance. And three or four years down the road, we've come climbed up to 3.64. Well, this is a problem. We've introduced something into this system that's caused this high resistive imbalance. Maybe it's a loose connection. But it, it alerts the technician to go out, take a further look at this motor circuit, get this motor back into a healthy condition or the power circuit back into a healthy condition. And as you can see here, once the, the uh, corrections are made, we've reduced our uh, resistive imbalance down to a more acceptable level. Now, what if the motor's running? What are we going to see? Well, as we can see here, uh, we calculate all three phases of current and you're immediately alerted to any type of imbalance that may be occurring, whether it's in yellow or red where we're at here, we're above our percent full load amps. So we highlight that in a color code for you to ensure that you're alerted that this is the condition where we're running a, re a current imbalance that's not healthy for the motor and uh, potentially causing overstress for that motor. And here we just show it from a visual perspective. Again, our time domain, we can see this current imbalance uh, as we're monitoring current on all three phases. Unbalanced currents create excess heat, reducing the life of your motors. If we're creating excess heat, we're possibly lowering the insulation life and thus uh, reducing the life of our motors. And prevent headaches by catching problems early. Well, as a recap, remember, if we're running our motors that are not, uh, in a, are, are not efficiently run and we have a high resistance connection shown by our MCE test with high resistive imbalance or our Emax test with a high current imbalance, we're reducing the efficiency of that motor, costing us more, and potentially if we're creating excess heat, it could be lowering the life of, that, uh, of the insulation system. I'd like to thank you for your time. Please contact PDMA if you require more information, and you can reach us at PDMA at PDMA.com or 813-621-6463, extension 118. Once again, thank you for your time, and have a great day.